night and it's still baked. <laughs> hey Google, hey YouTube, it's Gord. Uh, yeah, today's video this morning's recorded at noon was waked and baked. Waked, still baked. Because I woke up after a 200 gram tab, I, 200 milligram tab, I keep calling it 200 gram. 200 milligram tablet of THC yesterday. It really oh, made me feel so much better. But as I reported this morning, right after this morning's video, I finished off the creation of my can of butter and I had my first can of butter at two this afternoon. So it's six now. It's the four o'clock mark, the second time it goes through the liver the second for those who don't know most do the edibles usually have two major waves of of the high it's the first one maybe one minor two major I have noticed lately that as soon as I take pretty soon after I take an edible Depending on its strength, I'm getting something right away within 5-10 minutes, but not much. The first hit is when the THCA is put through, or whatever form the THC is taking, is put through your liver and transformed, and I forget what it's transformed into, but that's where psychoactive effects happen that's where your body starts changing and warming and uh, then that happens again the liver metastasizes i don't know my words well uh it again and you go through another wave of the of the effects of the cannabis it's quite good. It's quite good. I took my can of butter. My can of butter is pure sativa. And I took a teaspoon of it. Now a teaspoon will be out of a quarter pound, maybe uh, a twentieth of it. So yeah, it was still a fair prop. That probably makes it about 70 to 100 milligram. And I'm only... I'm estimating, I'm sorry about that, I'm getting a cold. I'm estimating the strength, but by taking it, and now it's four hours later, um, I'm pretty pretty solid that a teaspoon is about 70 to 100 milligrams. And it's done quite well for me. Uh, being sativa, the first sativa edible I've had in a while, I found extra energy today. I, I really have laid off the sativa lately because of the anxiety it delivers. And But because of not doing that, I have also found myself couch locked. And that's not a good thing. So I need to get more sativa in my life. One thing I have found for all of you, Karen, uh, listen to this one. Because I know that sativa bothered you. Um... Uh, Rebecca, you too. I found out that cracked pepper, and I just tested it today. Cracked pepper on your food. Eat something with cracked pepper on it right after some... Uh, whenever you're feeling that anxiety from sativa. And it cuts the peaks right off of that anxiety. It really makes you feel a lot better. I shared that in Weedy Weekend, I think, last week. If not, it'll be in this week. But I've shared it now. Now you know. Also, a reminder to any of you that do edibles, one problem that rookies have is they just keep token like crazy. you got to remember that you've put a lot of THC already in your body. I've had maybe, although this has been on all day, I've had maybe two totes, three, no, I think two, since two o'clock, and it's six now, just a bit after, since I took the that, because 
it tends to do enough for me. As well as when you have an edible in your system, your beta blockers are down so the THC from any other source will hit you much harder, much stronger. But there is a, another thing that you can do with have a, a edible that is sativa, like I have had, and I have had some anxiety, and another thing I can't just eat every time the anxiety comes forward is uh, a good shot, be it flour or not, this one's chemo kush, of a indica. Bring, you don't need a big shot. I'm having one, but cheers. The, the opposing effect will, will knock down some of the peaks of the anxiety as good as the cracked pepper will. But also, but also, um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Isn't that handy? Um, but again, edibles? Are a fantastic way they're getting better and better we're getting it's getting easier and easier to understand dosing and how much you should have when things like that um, talk about anxiety I think I've hit on everything I wanted to talk on I can say I will be having a lot more of this butter so that I can start catching up to what I have not done around my house. Uh, I like the energy I get from sativa. And now that I know how to manage the peaks of the anxiety better or dull them out, I can use it a little more. Because if anyone's ever suffered anxiety, eh, that could be tough. That could be tough. But this is working. This is working. A sativa edible with indica battling oh the other thing i want to say was cbd will also if you have anything that's really cbd strong a one to one or a ten to one ratio like i do i have um my uh, cbd here it is my cbd oil it's cbd uh i can't remember it's not written anymore but it is a really good way to bring down, maybe you think something's 70 milligrams and you take it and it's 100 or 120 and you, you have anxiety or just too high, CBD can calm that. CBD actually has a counter effect to the THC. Not always, but it, it agitates the the receivers, the cannabinoid receptors. That's a long story, and I'm not sure I fully understand it yet. I gotta read it about four or five more times. So, cheers, everybody! Peace and harmony. Happy beginning of this year, or happy January one, the way I look at it. And uh, may January two bring you also something new. Cheers.